Touch my back, someone. Looking. John Whitman is proficient in self-defense and gun disarms and explains why a form of martial arts known as Krav Maga is popular. It's modern. It was developed in the modern age for the modern age. No offense to more traditional martial arts, they're good, right. but they were designed for use against people with a sword or somebody on horseback. Uh, Krav Maga was designed for somebody else holding a gun on you. Martial arts teacher Michael Matsuda thinks that the boy in Newtown had the skills needed to lead his classmates to safety because of his training. You know, martial arts does a lot for our youth, and uh, even though it isn't able to stop a bullet, it does provide uh, goal-oriented opportunities and leadership skills. Over in Newtown, Connecticut, Krav Maga instructor Christopher Petiti has been offering free classes to Newtown teachers. I think a lot also has to do with, with the shootings. Um, people just want to feel like they have something, they can do something, they want to do something. One Newtown elementary school teacher has been convinced to take Petiti's classes in light of the recent tragedy. If there's something that you can do that can even give you like the tiniest bit of being better prepared for anything than you were before, then that's the direction you want to move in. Nelson Neo teaches a mix of Wing Chun Kung Fu and Krav Maga. He also thinks that martial arts is relevant even today. It's, it's still relevant. I mean, even if you know, you're faced with someone with an AK-47 like that, if you've never been trained or if you have been trained, it makes a big difference because you know, the way you just jump and move around, it's different than if you've never done it. Whether it is by providing leadership or providing self-defense training, martial arts has proven that it is still relevant in our modern society. Byron's Lung reporting.